Hey guys, I'm Mike from Eve's Coffee Roasters and today I'm going to give you three tips for steaming soy, almond and other non-dairy milks. Non-dairy milks are generally harder to steam than full fat cow's milk and this is due to the protein and fat content. But before we get started, during the video I'm going to refer to a term labelled aeration. Aeration is when air is being injected into the milk by the steam wand. And aeration usually sounds like paper tearing. And during this aeration process, this is when the milk is creating its foam. So you know that what aeration sounds like. Have a listen here. Tip number one, aerate the milk less. We need to be more gentle when steaming non-dairy milks. This is because that the milk foam in the milk itself separates a lot easier and sooner. So with any milk, when we move the milk jug down, we're creating foam and we're aerating. We need to do this with non-dairy milks, but we're moving the milk jug down in a slower and a more gentle manner than we would with full fat cow milk. Tip number two is to aerate the milk as soon as we turn the steam wand on. When we start the steaming process, we start with the milk level dipped just below the surface of the steam wand, and when we turn it on, we move the milk jug down to a point until we hear aeration. That aeration point is when we're getting the microfoam. So we want to start that aeration process as early as we can during the milk process rather than leaving it too late. This is going to help create much smoother and silkier microfoam than aerating the milk near the end of the milk steaming process. Tip number three is to let the milk jug sit on the bench. In the earlier tips I mentioned, we're aerating the milk less. And aerating less means less foam. So allowing the milk jug to sit on the bench for an extra 20 to 30 seconds will allow the foam level to rise. And this will give us a thicker and a better consistency of microfoam. Once we've finished letting the milk jug sit, don't forget to give the milk jug a big swirl so the milk touches from side to side and then we're ready to pour. Alright, so give these tips a go, but remember that milk steaming takes lots and lots of practice. It will take you a wee while for your non-dairy milk to be as good as your full fat cow's milk. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them below. Other than that, thanks for watching.